Let's complete the table of ordered pairs for the equation 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. We have our table where our choices for x are 1 and 3. And we also have a choice listed in the y column as negative 4. So let's start when x is 1, which means everywhere in our original equation we're going to replace x with the value 1. So we'll have 2 times 1 minus 3y equals 12. We're ready to simplify our left-hand side and solve for y. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3y is equal to 12. Let's subtract 2 from both sides, and we'll get negative 3y is 12 take away 2, which is 10. Our last step is to get y by itself by dividing both sides through by negative 3. So we'll have y is equal to 10 over negative 3, or negative 10 thirds. And we can place that in our table. Let's do our second choices on the next page. Again, we have our original equation, 2x minus 3y equals 12. And we'd like to solve that for when x is 3. Find the ordered pair. So we'll replace x with 3. And we'll simplify the left-hand side and solve for y. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 3y equals 12. We'll subtract 6 from both sides. We're left with negative 3y equals 12 minus 6, or 6. And again, to get y by itself, we'll divide both sides through by negative 3. And we'll have y is equal to 6 divided by negative 3, or y is equal to negative 2. So our ordered pair, when x was the value 3, y was negative 2. Now notice this choice. They give us y is equal to negative 4. So be careful replacing that into your original equation. We'll have 2x minus 3 times negative 4 equals 12. Again, we'll simplify this left-hand side, and now this time we're solving for x. We have 2x negative 3 times negative 4, positive 12 is equal to 12. We'll subtract 12 from both sides. 2x, 12 minus 12 is 0. Divide both sides through by 2, and we'll get x is equal to 0. As we write our ordered pair, make sure you have them in the right order. x is 0, and y was negative 4. So we've completed the three choices from our original table.